maybe you're looking in the wrong place for your answers. Maybe you're not in control. Maybe you were never in control. Maybe everything was written for you from the day you were born to this life. You entered into this body and living this life, you forgot your memory when you first came in. Everything got blanked out. And then you got programmed that you are an individual separated from everything and you have your own free will and now you have to fight all of your life to reach oneness. So how about if you were never, you're never an individual and you never had a free will and you never have to fight to reach the oneness because you were born as the oneness. You are already the one. You're in oneness with life. You're not separated. And everything is being done through you and to you is what life is doing it. Life wants you to be exactly the way you are. The only thing is that you're programmed to believe that you have to be something else. And that's where the problem is. Maybe there is no problem. If you're lazy, that's exactly how life wants to be. Your body has no motivation. You're lazy. You're tired. You want to lounge around. You want to go to the beach. You want to take it easy. You want to watch a lot of movies. You like to write poetic stories, romantic stories, life story, whatever it is. And you're perfectly fine the way you are. There's nothing wrong with you. You shouldn't be anything else. Because life, existence, is expressing itself through you, with your looks, with your body, with your limitations, with your intelligence, you're perfect the way you are. With all the mistakes you've made, you didn't make those mistakes. It was life experiencing itself through you. Life wanted you to be born in Norway. Life wanted you to be a woman. Life wants you to have this name, this religion, blah, blah, blah. You can change it if you want. You can change your name. You can change your religion or get rid of it. You don't have to identify with your nationality. You can use your passport, but not feel identified to it. Isn't that easier? I found it such a relief that when this revelation took place, this realization came, when I realized that, wow, I am absolutely not in control of anything in this world and I'm not running the show I'm not even running this body. This body and this mind, this mechanism, this unit has its own predetermined programming. It's already predetermined. It was programmed, it's programmed to do whatever in this life 
it's supposed to do from the beginning to the end. Its point of being born is writ it's written, the point is going to die. It will live this long from here to there. And everything that this body does is already determined, predetermined. It cannot be anything else exactly the way it's meant to be. How does that for your mind? Your mind is going to come and say, what are you talking about? Your mind will come and say, what do you mean? I don't have free will. I can't choose. Look at me. I'm so powerful. I'm so mighty. I can do whatever I want. What do you mean? I can't do anything. Well, because when you look at it that way and you come to this thing that, wait a minute, I have no free will in this life. Everything's predetermined. That means the death of the mind. That means the end of the mind because only the mind will come and say, what do you mean? I don't exist. Because there's a false identity that you're latching onto. That false identity is only in your mind. It's the mind that is identifying to a false identity. It's happening in your mind. It's not the world. It's in your mind, which is in the wrong place. That's the source of your suffering. That's the source of your confusion. And yet, it's so obvious and it's so clearly there that majority of human beings on the planet are missing it. They go through the entire life and completely missing it. Completely missing the entire thing. Tell yourself for one moment, I want you to examine this. Let's do it together. Let's do this practice. Tell yourself, I have no free will and I'm not in charge of my life. I'm not even my own responsibility. It's life created me and life is in charge of feeding me. Life has to feed me because I have no free will. 